All right, the first thing I need to do is clean up these sides. I'm not, I'm not going to be too concerned about getting this perfect because it's going to be painted and you'll just never see this. want a good clean uh, shoulder in there that's for sure and it doesn't take much to clean it up I guess so so it's got that round edge from the bit And the other thing you're doing by uh, clamping it this way is supporting it to keep it from being split. So let me get that out of there, clean it up. Now here's what I came up with for getting a good clean shoulder cut. I, I made a spacer. I found out that the distance between the the outside edge and my shoulder is about three-eighths of an inch. So I milled up a piece and now I can take and rest my my chisel on there and just bring that in at at that dimension and get a nice clean line here. Yeah, that's better. That other one, that last one, I didn't have it seated all the way down the last time. Get that edge out here. That's much better. So now I know I got a nice clean shoulder, consistent all the way back. Looks good. Except for this corner right here. Beautiful. Looks really good. I'm I'm happy with that. Well, one thing I will tell you, I'll show you. This is uh, the last one. The third one, I was tapping out, and I got a little carried away and tapped on this corner and snapped off a piece. So I just glued it back on. I I'll sand that a little bit. I'm not really too concerned about it because like I said I'm going to be painting them black. I might have a little more work to do on that one yet anyway. So just be aware of that when you tap them out kind of tap them on the edge not don't, don't get a corner. Alright 
I got these uh, corners on there. They all took a little bit of fine tuning, but I did get them on. So I'm going to number them uh, one, two, three, and four. I don't know if that'll do me any good anyway because I'm going to paint them, but for now I guess I'll know that that's where they go. Now, the one thing I'm, I'm going to have to do here is going to have to cut these half laps just fractionally larger, I mean just a smidge larger so that this thing drops in there and then I'll have to push these corners I think back into the half lap corners and then what I'll do is locate a pin here uh, a dowel I think uh, to, to pin it in place from both directions uh, alright as near as I can figure out it's going to be 11 sixteenths from the end to the uh, to the cut and then you know you'll do the same thing on all four pieces and half lap them together like that and then hopefully have enough room to push these back. I guess if I don't I can always trim these up uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm really you know confident that that's gonna all work. Right, I got my setup there I shifted my auxiliary fence over, made a cut through it, set up my first piece here, and then I'm using my uh, kerf maker. So I should be good to go. I've got absolutely no tear on whatsoever on this back side. This is the back side here and here. Perfect. You gotta love that. Alright, I'll come back after I get the other three done. We'll see how they fit.